everybody and welcome back to SCDC ENT presents The Age Woman. I am Miss McComb and today I'm just coming because my head is full of thoughts and I just want to throw some thoughts and things out there to you ladies. So this year I am really trying to be a little more proactive with being of some assistance with my sisters if possible. Um but I don't know what you guys need. Like I put up, you know, I'm I'm kind of all over the place most of the time with my thoughts and everything because I really don't have anybody to bounce ideas off of as far as what you ladies need. My my goal is to be like that big sister you turn to when you really need some just straight advice, not no uh, just encouraging words. I I totally appreciate women who can offer me encouraging words but if you could give me some really good advice or a plan that I could really do something with you are gonna be my go-to girl because I know if I do what you the idea if I work the idea that you gave me like I can really make something happen and that's the type of per that's the type of advice that I give you I don't I don't just like giving out words I'm giving out advice and ways of thinking and ways to really get some good results you know it's not always the popular my my opinion and my platform is not always going to be the most popular thing but i'm dealing with reality and i'm not applying my feelings to what it is at all a lot of stuff that i say i might not like it but that's what it is you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't serve you playing games and just giving encouraging words and just saying have faith and not telling you you know how to have faith how to know when you are not in faith how to remember to stay in faith like I can give you ways and ideas and things like that like I'm useful like that like I, I'm a problem solver that's why I decided to become a life coach because I have a sister that I love dearly and she listens to me and when and, and I watch her become a excellent 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 mother you know a, just a great woman all the way around you know what I'm saying and it's because she listens to me and I and I have another sister that doesn't listen to me and she be all over the place you know what I'm saying so I'm I'm useful like that you know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm definitely about the word and I'm about being in order. And I'm not going to tell you anything wrong because anything that I tell you, the Most High is going to hold me accountable for that. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to, you know, I'm somebody who you can trust because I'm the woman that I say that I am. I make, I make it very clear. And from uh, your friendly life coach to the sisters in your house shy, to the age woman, to the YouTube page and the videos, I'm that same person that I have been the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Before I knew what the truth was, I always had a sense of being spiritual and just being in order and, and, and getting things done. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a good friend to have. I'm somebody who you could trust. My ultimate goal is to um, just have a place for us to gather. And that's what I really want, would like. I would like. I would like to have a place for us to gather so we could come together and uh, sisters who want to do that but don't have the, the resources you know what I'm saying I want to be able to be in a, a, of assistance and give you guys jobs and, and and work that you could do to make you know support yourself and have money you know what I'm saying I believe that we all should be learning different skills and we all should be supporting each other past just sewing fringes on our clothes just basic skills things that we all should be able to do we all should be able to so far our family that's just like a basic skill we should be able to like we should have and if you don't have that you need to be working on that we all should should know how to cook we all should know how to use herbs to heal our family we all should know what our families are eating we all should know how to garden those are basic skills that you should just know and you should be teaching those skills to your kids because that's very important these days. We need to learn how to take care of ourselves and become more independent. And you're only going to do that through learning different skills to support yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you can feed yourself, if you can learn how to clean water and, you know, you got a husband 
and and he got skills i mean y'all you good but you, you as a woman i'm just speaking to the ladies because like I, the stuff that the guys got to do like i don't even want to just bring me to meet after you done did what you know you got to do to it you know what i'm saying so i um i will be right back after these messages morning chat and it's me again Miss Nicole so like I was saying um I forgot what I was saying so let's just talk about something else <laughs> so I just forgot I probably was talking about something really deep and I just threw it out of my head but um like I said it's important for you to learn skills to better yourself you know what I'm saying that's how you begin to feel more confident in the knowledge that you have and knowledge and wisdom is knowledge applied once you learn how to you know once you understand um different things and you, you will pick up different skills you need to apply them you know what i'm saying i'm growing a lot of food in my front yard and side of the house and in the backyard so i definitely need to uh learn how to uh, how to store it you know, so right now I'm in the process of learning how to can and make fermented foods and, you know, different things like that, because that's important. If you're going to have a garden, you're going to get a lot of food. Like I have a, I have a lot of I get a lot of tomatoes because of the method that I use, which I'm definitely going to talk about when it's time to start talking about the techniques for the garden and everything. So I have um, I get a lot of tomatoes, just crazy tomatoes. And so what I do is I chop them up in like chunks or whatever and then I just throw them in the freezer and freeze them and but now I want to get into using them like making chow chow like learning how to just uh turn them into sauce how to just basically just pickle them you know so you just got regular tomatoes soaking in, in water or whatever kind of brine you want to use and so I'm in the process of learning how to do that I still need to learn how to bake ugh because the baking is definitely <laughs> It's not coming along. It's not coming along really good, ladies. The, the baking is definitely a work in progress. I'm learning how to make flatbreads. You know what I'm saying? But then also, too, like I got to eat healthy. So I don't want to be making all that bread, you know? So <sighs> you're darned if you're doing, darned if you don't, ladies. I'm just sorry. That's just the way it is. So, but you know, I definitely be trying. And also too, I got some great new techniques that I learned that I'm going to be posting up on that Good Herb Talk. So tune in for that to be coming out soon. Um, and yeah, you, you just got to be able to learn skills. And also too, you have got to learn to organize your life. There in your house, there needs to be a place for everything and everything has a place. Um, because it's just you can't do anything if you, you you're not able to access anything you don't know what you have until you can see what you have if that makes any sense to anybody you need to see your things and know what you have available as resources like if i need a 3cc syringe to draw up some some medicine and, and inject it in somebody like i got some needles in the in a pocketbook in my closet that i you know that i save for that you know what I'm saying? So you need to know and understand what you have. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is really arrange things and put things in order. I'm sorry about the train coming through. Like we have a train right in front of our house. Yeah, sorry about that. But And the more activities and different hobbies and things that you have, you need organization and you need structure to everything that you do. A simple shoebox can hold many good things and you can buy a bookshelf and put the shoe boxes on the shelf um if you have a walk-in closet clean it out 90 percent of that stuff you probably don't even wear or need and use that uh you know don't be afraid to go get the plastic shelves at home depot or at walmart and put them together and utilize that those are amazing i got actually set up a grow a little light setup with uh with two shoe strings of grow light and I put some some you know I got some peppers and stuff that I'm working on right now so don't be afraid to utilize plastic shelves and bins 
make for storage, to make things be neat and in order. You cannot, I mean, the Most High commands us to, to do things in decency and in order. So, of course, and cleanliness is next to godliness. We already know that. So as righteous people, we must have our or our, our homes in righteousness. And, 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 and it must be clean and it must be clutter-free. And if something doesn't serve you, get rid of it and don't be afraid to reuse things and create things with what you have you know what I'm saying so you don't have to buy anything get creative with your usage of things as long as it makes sense you know um very important and after these messages we'll be right back chat with Nicole and um, so like I was saying just uh, make sure you have your house in order and when you start putting things in order then you can actually see what you need you know what I'm saying because like I already know like so when I'm out that I don't because I don't like to waste my money I like to get the maximum for whatever dollar I spend um, so when I'm out and I see a good deal on something that I know that I already need at the house because I'm aware of the things that I, that I don't have, I get them, you know what I'm saying? And buying little things at a time helps build you up, you know, build up your, um, it builds up your, your, your inventory, your stockpile, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I might, like I bought a, a gallon of, uh, fish emulsion for the garden. And I paid $4 for that gallon of fish emulsion. And I saw it in the store uh, when I recently went to Walmart. I saw it for like $18. But when it was on sale, I got two of them. And I got some other, you know, granular food. Because like in the wintertime is when I really like to put the, um, I put the the miracle Grow, or uh, I put some bone meal and different things out there in the garden. So I like to go ahead and buy that stuff up. You know what I'm saying? So I have it. And, um, you know, I like I like the Miracle Grow Organics. And for some reason, at the end of the growing season, you know, like Walmart, the big box stores, um, what the other spot is, uh, Lowe's, um, at the end of the, the season, they get rid of a lot of stuff and they mark the prices down. And that's why I like to try to sneak in there, get me a little few things here, a few things there. That's a great way to, especially, you know, when you have some extra money, buy things that you would need, like for the guard and, and set up, set up a budget for that. You know what I'm saying? And also have your things in order. You can't, uh, a guard, it, when you, when you're interested in gardening, you have to have a little bit of OCD about yourself. Good gardeners are kind of OCD um, because you have to be very meticulous about the things that you grow and you want things to look nice. You don't want to start a garden and everything's just bumbled all over the place because that doesn't make any sense. And it's, you know, it's not a pleasant environment to come out to. I want to create an atmosphere where I'm comfortable and I just love coming to my garden and smelling this, and seeing that, you know, that's what makes you feel good. And it's, and it's worth it, you know, like, that you put your time and your energy into something that you can be proud of. You know, so when people come, they're like, oh, my God, your stuff is so beautiful. And you're like, I know, because I worked on this, like, really hard, you know. And when you apply yourself, you're going to get good results, I promise, you know. Because when you really apply yourself and really put your thought process into it, you're going to get good results. And if you need some advice, queenfromcreation at gmail.com. You can always hit me up for ideas. I'm good with that. Um... And, you know, a lot of times, once you reach out to me, I give you my phone number. And really, you can find my phone number because I always drop it all over the place. Um, and I just, because I really want to be assistance. You know what I'm saying? If, if I can, um, not, not uh, you know, have a have an idea of something. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think that maybe it's a lot of stuff going on that you really can't focus on activities and stuff because of that. And if you really get get more organization and get more order in your home and and everything you'll have more time to do things that you really want to do you know you just have to get organized you know what i'm saying and also too 
the hobbies. Think about the hobbies and different things that you have because those hobbies can make you money. That's another reason why you want to figure out something that you really enjoy. Like I have a sister that told me she crochets. I think that that is like awesome because if you could just crochet scarves, you just learn how to crochet a scarf and how, you know, a scarf I'm sure is easy. You know, you can make money selling scarves. You know, let your hobby get you paid. I'm putting work into my garden because I want to get paid for my garden. You know what I'm saying? I'm going that's going to pay me some money. I've invested a lot of money. I've bought I buy soil um, well, peat moss, bales, like $14, but this year the price done went down a little bit. If you catch it early, I got a bale for $11, but I got bags and bags upon that. Like, none of my soil is local, because the soil, well, I'll explain that to you right after these messages. Hey everybody and welcome back. So as I was saying, so I I use peat moss and what I've done is the dirt that I have been able to okay, I got dogs. So what I do to get me some to, to make me some earthworms is I I put I got a compost pile right where my big dog is that I just recycle uh leaves and dog manure and everything and then I move it from side to side and at the bottom of the the pile of doo-doo is worms and it'll be a lot of worms and I always take my time scrape all those worms out from under there every season I get like tons of worms y'all this works so good you don't even you don't even need like he just an automatic pooping pile so <laughs> I just utilize him for that but you can get worms all over the place. You know, if you just put some food out, if you start a compost pile, worms are going to be attracted to that. If you set anything on some grass, the earthworms are going to be attracted. So you can do, you, you really don't have to pay for, for worms. Um, and that's what I do. So, you know, so I got this, I, I don't use the manure. I don't use his, you know, that compost that I'm making for the, him with the, uh, for my garden. I just use the worms. So once the worms, you know, attracted to all that gross stuff that they love to be all in, uh, I just take them and put them in there, add them to my pots and my bins that I have set up with my garden. So I got some actual active life in my garden, in my pots. And I'm very delicate. My pots don't get tilled. Um, I will, you know, move the soil around, rake the soil around with my hands or whatever. Um, and break things down but because I'm investing into the the active life of my soil and that's really uh how you kind of avoid having to fertilize and because I don't want to have to the more that I learn about gardening it's it's like it's less is more the less work once you get everything set up the less work you do the more you're going to you're, the more food and stuff you're going to have because you don't have a lot plants are they belong outside and if you set them up in a decent environment like a a, a, a well thought out plan for them they'll they'll thrive year after year and just do what plants do you know and you come clean them up and you put them back you know I had some collard greens out there they're still out there <laughs> it done kind of snowed I'm in zone 7A it done snowed I noticed that they was turning purple and the reason why they was turning purple was because they were lacking potassium because I was, I'm not feeding them I haven't, I haven't fed them uh, in a while but I did go out there recently and give them like some uh, bone meal I mixed some bone meal and some water and like gave them a nice good dose so the color's coming back to them but I just, I don't really want to, I'm not going to start feeding them till, you know, when it's, when it's warm and it, it's really time for them to grow, you know, so I like this because I don't really need a lot of product greens right now. And growing in the wintertime is amazing because the pests are just not there eating all your collard greens so they can get really nice and healthy. Like my roots and all my collard greens, I know going to be very healthy and good, um, 
I'm going to go out there and till. I'm going to add some more earthworms to them. You know what I'm saying? And freshen up the, the, the bin. Because I did have some okra out there. But, uh, you know, I took all that stuff out. But, like I said, organization is everything, guys. If, if you want to, if you really want to make your, your, if you really want to see your words flourish, you've got to have organization with it. Because the more that you have organization, you work toward a plan, and you just keep building that plan. It's like building the sandcastle. You're shaping it and molding it till everything looks the way that you want it to look. And then you can just sit back and then you just work that plan. You know, and that's basically what my, how I'm uh, approaching in my garden. And that's how, that's, you know, that's a thought process for you. You figure out where you want everything. You figure out what you're going to put in. You figure out what you're going to feed them. And you just go to work. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a lot of space. You know, you can go vertically. You could do a lot of different, it's a lot of different ways and methods uh, that you can grow. I don't know why that was just on my spirit to be talking about gardening. Well, because it's uh, it's actually the growing season. So you definitely want to go ahead and get things started indoors if you can. Um, because we should be growing our own food. Something. Grow at least a salad. That's a great start. So I will talk to you guys on the next time. Shalom. I love you. Queenfriendcreation at gmail.com. If you uh, have any questions or concerns or you have a topic you want me to discuss, I want to be some of assistance to you. And if you need me, I'm here. Shalom.